Sunday anchor Chris Wallace in Washington. Chris, your thoughts, some fact-checking? Yeah, let me start with the thoughts first, uh, Brett. I have to say, I think I have watched almost every presidential and vice presidential debate since the first four Kennedy-Nixon debates in 1960, and thinking back over the last few minutes, I don't believe that I have ever seen a debate in which one participant was as openly disrespectful of the other as Biden was to Paul Ryan tonight. And that's what it was. You can talk about the smirks, the smiles, the head shaking, the mugging. It was openly contemptuous and disrespectful. And it wasn't just the facial gestures. It was also the words. In the course of the night, he dismissed various arguments by Ryan as malarkey, bunch of stuff. I don't know what these guys are talking about. Loose talk and bluster. Uh, it was really quite an extraordinary, and I have to say, from my experience, unprecedented performance in a presidential or vice presidential debate by one of the participants on the specific hey, Chris, issues. You know what? Uh, let me let me just interrupt you real quick. It, it's it's what was amazing was some of the topics were when he was laughing and smirking. Uh, one of them I noticed was Iran, when Paul Ryan was talking about Iran. Now. Listen, they may disagree about how long it takes Iran to get a nuclear weapon or how much of a threat Iran is, but clearly Iran is a threat eventually, and uh, the laughing and the smiling, some would think perhaps that would be misplaced at that point. It's, it's interesting. There are a lot of people all over reacting to that. Yeah, in fairness, I don't think that he was laughing about the situation in Iran. I think he was laughing, portraying that... Poor, dim Paul Ryan didn't know what he was talking about and clearly didn't understand the situation. I thought on some of the specific issues.